hi guys and welcome back to vicky's corner so guys i know if you have been following this aisha and odogu story you know that somehow this some of these stories that content creators now do somehow deep down you you've been noticing that it's like some of them are just fake right because when this aisha and odogu matter came up the way the whole thing was made me believe that it was fake number one there is no way your husband somebody would just come up with your husband's child and say okay uh, your husband have um a seven years old or nine years old child and then you will now automatically carry camera that time when you say you go to a para you go to carry camera on the film for matter that you don't know about though because i think they said the baby was seven or being nine thereabouts and they brought the baby to his home when the wife that just gave birth to a baby was in the house a woman just walked into their house and said this baby belonged to your husband and the first thing this woman would do was to carry camera start filming they put ring lights put put tripod stand so sometimes when you look at this thing now i'm saying this because i'm a content creator there are certain things i will never want to show the world that justice even if you're having problem it's not everything you bring to the world we have talked about this thing even on youtube here yeah. now these content creators are bigger on facebook on youtube yeah, they are just about nine thousand subscribers there about but on facebook there are over seven hundred thousand uh, followers so they are more known on facebook but people still know them here on youtube so the whole matter started where the woman in fact if you see the way she was even dressed at the point or she was on jean trouser and a bra and she was ranting even when the husband came back she was telling me him that oh i trusted you you had a baby you didn't tell me blah 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 i know it's wrong for any man to have a baby outside wedlock i will not tell the wife they want to get married to tell the woman if she feel like getting married to you she will and if she doesn't feel like she'll break up okay but this one he didn't tell her anything right and they went ahead get me so now when all these things happened the woman was ranting and the part that made people feel that it was all a prank like it was a joke it was all for content was well, because they were filming it now see somebody said this script is gradually getting to its uh, predictable climax dna sequence follows uh result proves negative i shall start to apologize to chizo k that's the odogu suddenly turns victim reconciliation follows immediately film over now why is this person saying this is because of recent people have started saying that this same aisha and odogu that claim they are going to the village okay to do uh, village meeting and all that people went to their house in lagos and found out that this husband and wife they are living peacefully at home <laughs> that they did all those things for content to get views now the man just posted seven hours ago saying that he's apologizing to his wife before he was not apologizing no he was even cursing and insulting and all that but now according to them that the man is not ap apologizing like i watched the video this afternoon where he was apologizing to the wife that he has accepted everything and all that i was now wondering like is this in a joke Can somebody joke with their marriage somebody said you people should have cleared you people should have clearly sold your souls for money and fame everything is not content you are even apologizing for sweating call your wife's phone and speak to her directly i am sincerely tired of your videos popping up on my timeline please who has the key to metaverse <laughs> it's time to relocate now the thing is uh, people already know that these people are playing with our our, our minds someone like me eh, <laughs> it will be hard for someone to play with me on social media because i will know which one is a prank and which one is not even that mr evil son with his wife people are still thinking that he'd be like saying a prank there's somebody here said so this person is even my friend on facebook also my friend she said you people we are cashing out we know but your choice of words in provocation is nothing good to write home about you guys need to work on yourselves two local both parties <laughs> this is my friend <laughs> let me read comment before i watch somebody say, let me read comment before i watch somebody say keep playing with your marriage all in name of content <laughs> i tell you somebody say just get out <laughs> see yeah uh, the truth of the matter is still now some persons don't still know that this thing is just a joke and it's because people have started noticing that oh they found out that the man and his wife they're in lagos together the wife did not go to the village as they claim you get that all the while they were going to the village were just for content like both of them would drive to the village together and be behaving as if he's coming to the village to do village meeting on how the the the, the elders of the family will settle the matter and all that that all were just like a prank to us now because the thing done they resurface people don't they know the man don't start to do apology and now when you apologize now before you know they will not say the wife now accepted the apology and then they now came back together they are not eating together they're not doing content to Together. this makes me to ask like a big way to 
Is it that you people want to use your marriage to play on social media? Is it that bad? Even here on YouTube, some persons bring their marital problems out here. They will say it's content. I don't know. I know that money is good though. Like the dollars, it's, it's sweet to enjoy YouTube dollar, Facebook dollar, Instagram dollars. Uh, I know it is sweet but bringing your family out in the open like what do you think when your children grow up <laughs> what do you think like see the last thing you would do is bring your family to trash your family outside you want to do any other thing do on social media but is it trashing yourself or your family outside just because of money they wanted to go viral they did even the video he did today seven hours ago it's already on over three hundred thousand views okay so definitely it's going to cash out He's going to cash out even if you're not close to a millionaire. You get the point. So these are the things that make some people come ahead to do naughty stuff. They just feel that I beg, I can do anything and you know get away with it. It's social media. The thing is that social media doesn't forget. If you want to do anything, do anything with, with somebody else. Like don't bring your family and drag your family. If somebody is dragging their family, you have every right to talk about it because it's the person that brought their family out. But you dragging yourself or bringing yourself down or trying to tarnish your own image. For money is what I don't really understand. If some, if a, if a celebrity or somebody is trying to tarnish their own image, you 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 help them talk about it. Like Odoguna is tarnishing his own image. I'm talking about him. It's not my family. You get the point. But for the fact that people have your mind, like you have the mind to tarnish your family, talk about your husband, your wife in a very derogatory manner, and say it's because of dollars. <laughs> You people remember this Mama Uka. This is the same way Mama Uka did their own. Mama Uka was tarnishing one lady's image, claiming that she's she cheating on him. According to him, it, it, the lady has been his, uh, his girlfriend for like five years, more than five years that they've been dating. And all of a sudden on Valentine's Day, he claimed he saw her in somebody's car and claimed that she's cheating on him and that was how he dragged this lady they were doing village meetings the lady's brother would go to mama uka's village and try to you know break mama uka's car and all that people now finally said that mama uka was using this thing for content this guy is actually a guy this was his content he was acting like a you know a mommy village mommy all those kind of things that's what he was acting as if i say money no one they come plenty for the thing now he begin use prank and other things so controversy you know that controversy sells yes of course controversy sells so some people now seeing they cannot use another person's controversy to sell they use themselves and you know in uh, in the process they will bring themselves so down even insult their parents along the line because at the end they are bringing their family like this mama Oka brought his mother into the old thing people were even insulting the mother and his, his family for not you know uh acting well that a girl that's been with you for all these years now you have a house you have a car you want to push her away you know different different things no matter what don't bring your family here to be insulted but people don't hear this mama uka now is the kind of content he's doing after that they are break up he's totally different he's to tell you that he wanted to change content but he didn't know how to go about it and he decided to do a controversy first now he's doing um things like normally he used to tie this wrapper this red scarf pink top and do content now he's behaving like a man now he's no longer a woman he's now behaving like a man trying to you know seduce girls sometimes his own prank is like a girl came to his house he's trying to have sex with her all those kind of content and people are irritated by it me i'm irritated by it i don't even want to see mama Oka's face right now if his content come to my time then i just scroll and pass it's, it's disgusting me yeah because even if you wanted to change content is it to first bring down that girl saying that she's a cheat and all that. I don't know, even the girl, if you don't agree, they're going to promise and say, five million naira for you, just ask this acting for us. Let's bring your image down. You don't know, tomorrow another man might want to marry that girl and think that the girl is a cheat. I will not marry her. Because the way, if you see that that controversy, it was much. So at the end, the people like social media content creators are just using controversy to, to get to the top. And it's wrong. It's too much. You don't have to lie to the public. Only oh, say the truth. Say the truth. If you want to talk about a celebrity, say exactly what is happening in the celebrity's life. Say what you saw on the on the celebrity's page. Then yourself, you are using yourself to cause problem for yourself. Like this Aisha no Doguna. I don't just understand. Seriously, as in like bringing that kind of thing, you know, it's not something to joke with. Somebody will not start looking at your family with one kind of eye. Now there's Savisha. Anyway, guys, I'm done here. Please subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share if you can. Bye, guys.